Kevin Pollack here on the Rich Eisen Show. And in terms of casino, yeah. of all the people that I would want to ask you about, it has to be Rickles. Don Rickles. Uh, hands down, right? Yeah, I mean, because watching him rip into De Niro on set in the middle of a take, there's no greater joy, really. I think I've seen that on, on Twitter, right? Isn't that, what, what did he do? He just ripped on him in the middle of a take? or? Well, the camera's rolling around the casino floor. There's 100 extras. Right. Rickles is standing next to De Niro in a scene. Mm -hmm. De Niro is acting, saying his dialogue. Rickles' character is just standing there, as he does for most of the film. <laughs> He's not supposed to speak. And in the middle of the take, he looked at De Niro and said, Is that the way you're going to do it? Like that? <laughs> no, no, you got the awards. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Go ahead. And you know, <laughs> every sphincter tightens on set. <laughs> Nobody knows how... Bob, as we're forced to call him, is going to react. Right. But Rickles knew that he owned De Niro because De Niro worshipped Rickles. And, and Rickles told me this one day. He said, early on, he said, I own this guy because when he was a kid, there were two types of peer groups on the street corners in New York. When right. De Niro grew up, there was doo-wop groups and put-down groups. And De Niro, Demir De Niro, was in a put-down group. Your mother this, your mother that, right? Right. So to them, Rickles was God. And Rickles found out about it and went after him every day. Did he really? It was unbelievable. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. Kevin Pollack, you're and on the glorious. Rich Eisen Show. And then uh, another one, too. Um, grumpy old men being around Lemon and Mathau for yes. as much as you did, so, too. You speaking gotta... of sports, uh, you know, Mathau had a very famous gambling issue. In fact, at his memorial on the back of the program were his picks for the following Sunday. Are you serious? When he passed. Get yeah. out. <laughs> Yeah. Walter Matthau. Yeah. Yeah. When I met him on the set for the very first time, um, you never know how you're going to meet someone. In this case, it was on the set yeah. a couple hours before we were going to shoot our first scene together. The right. director j just said, you know, this is Kevin Pollack. He's going to play your son. And then the director walked away to go check on lights or something. And I'm stuck here and I foolishly decided to make small talk with Walter Matthau. And I said... <laughs> So, Walter, uh, uh, script's pretty good, huh? And he said, the script sucks, kid. I owe my bookie two million. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't kidding about the, the debt. That's what he said about yep. grumpy old men. Yep. I kind of, I love the movie. I mean, the, the, I, mean, the movie's... I mean, he was right about the debt. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. He really was. He and Matt, a great movie. He and Lemon were my heroes. You know, I grew up, character actors were my favorites. I dreamt of being one. And here's two character actors who got to be <laughs> leading men and, you right. know, just extraordinary, iconic actors. So to study at their feet was like Mount Rushmore. Type, right. You know? For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.